Hi, I'm Ben Affleck, and I want to talk to you about one of my favorite species of animals, the bat. We're at the Bat Zone at Cranbrook Institute of Science, headquarters of the Organization for Bat Conservation. We are in one of our enclosures, checking out some of the biggest bats and some of the smallest bats that are here at the Bat Zone. Bats keep the planet healthy. Bats eat millions of bugs every night. Because bats eat bugs, farmers can use less pesticide on their food. This really big bat right here is Tom, and Tom is a Malayan flying fox. It's the largest bat species in the entire world. The little bat is called an evening bat. One of the biggest problems in North America is that insect-eating bats are dying because of a fungus. And unfortunately, it grows on bats while they hibernate during the winter. Millions of bats are dying each year. So far, a disease called white-nose syndrome has killed about six million bats in North America. Essentially, these bats are on the verge of completely dying out. Not only would we lose an extraordinary species, the death of our bats would be catastrophic to our ecosystem. There was just this little blurb in the news I saw about bats getting this thing called white nose fungus. I think that we all just take for granted that there's bats and bats are going to be fine. But then as we started doing the research, we actually found that the bats are in a dire straits actually as a movie that benefits from the bats. We thought we're going to build these bat habitats as a way to raise awareness and just Generally, let's learn about bats and know how they benefit us because they're really important. Bat houses give healthy bats a safe place to raise their babies, and that gives bats a fighting chance to repopulate. Plus, putting up a bat house is a fun thing to do with kids. Hashtag save the bats. All right, let's go paint some houses. It's going to be some very happy bats. A lot of people are scared of bats and they think bats are bad, but bats are incredibly beneficial and they are responsible for like a lot of our ecosystem working. I was definitely afraid of bats before and sort of had an idea that they were creepy, but really they have a lot of personality actually. They're quite charming. There's no reason to be afraid of bats. They don't attack people or get like stuck in your hair. The bats here in the United States only eat insects. They eat about twice their body size in insects every night. There's like that common myth that bats are blind, but they're actually not. They echolocate the little sonar, which I didn't know. I did learn that there's a, that they're the only flying mammal. I thought that was kind of cool. It sort of made me envious, given humanity's quest to fly. It's gonna kind of work, so a little cityscape going on here. Gotham skyline meets bat house. I think it, it's appropriate, you know? Also, um, bat moms prefer if bat babies take off their bat shoes before they come into the bat house. I just found that out too. And also, these are recycled from our set. So Superman and Batman fought within the walls of these bat houses. So maybe buy one, donate to the bats. It's important because all these bats are dying right now. Bats all over the world are perishing from a lot of different reasons. But in North America, this white nose syndrome, this fungus that accidentally got here from Europe, is just causing massive die-offs of bats. If bats can raise babies that are healthy and they go into hibernation, they're gonna be more likely to make it through the next winter. This is the kind of bat right here that we're gonna save. This is called a big brown bat. This bat right here, hundreds of bats would be able to live in one bat house. This bat and other species have been dying to the extent that they're on the verge of extinction. But luckily you can do something to help. Savebats.org is a place to go to learn more about this and hopefully to contribute some effort toward preserving this important, valiant night of a species for now and years to come. Thank you.